in beautiful, beautiful Rochester Hills. When the water comes off all these large properties, now instead of just sheet water running right to the foundation of this home, not only is there a massive French drain under here with blind inlets, but the guys went ahead and they removed the dirt and they really stepped it back softly so that this can be mowed and maintained. But now the water just falls. And on torrential rains, say the ground still was frozen, we had a thaw. The rain would flood in here and it would actually have that kind of motion as it worked its way draining through the blind inlets. Now once the grass grows over the blind inlets, you know all the grass roots are now growing through the drainage fabric that we have and to up its flow rating we have it punched a second time. So we have we have our four ounce which nothing's faster than our double punch four ounce. Nothing on the planet is going to drain water faster than that. Especially if you install it correctly and you don't have wrinkles and overlap of any kind. That's when you're gonna get your best performance out of our four ounce, our double punch four ounce, non-woven geotextile. So again, right up here, all this runs towards this house. And this, this was pretty high. The French drain is definitely the deepest through here. We really had to cut through a high area here and then feather it back real nice to create this nice swale. Now this house is higher over here and the downspout water is just literally running towards the client that we're here representing today. So we wanted to make sure that we had a swale that just caught the water and throughout the swale we have blind inlets. This was another problem. You have the basement window right there. They leak really bad when there's excessive water. Went ahead and we took care of the sump line and the backup sump pump. The homeowner requested it to be done that way. I wanted to mention that. Because you guys, if you're subscribers to this channel, you know that we do things a little different than that. And if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, because that's what motivates us. That's what keeps us going.
I told them, I said, take the laser transit, you know, and they have that set up right there. Yep. And I said, just make sure when this water's coming, you know, because that's what's happening. The water, when the ground's frozen, comes off of this, and it just shoots right up in, underneath the windows there. So what you're saying is that now we don't have to be concerned about nope. the stuff. No, we, we're we going to catch it all. Okay. We're going to catch it all. All right, so the guys, they did a beautiful job here, creating a swale. This yard came down and then the water had nowhere to go. The, the water would just come off the high ground and just create this situation where it would flood the entire back of the house. So you have to take the sod cutter and cut about four passes out five I guess ours is really extra wide so maybe five six passes out you got to cut the sod out and then put it aside just takes a lot of time very time consuming but then you shave down the bank to your French drain you just go ahead and shave that down and then you don't want to put your stone in like you normally will you actually need that to kind of be concaved as well so that the water, when the ground is frozen and the water's coming off the high ground at a high rate of speed because it's frozen, you got sheet water, it'll actually sometimes pass the drain. But if you're banked up, it just does this and it gets all collected. Now, if you're pulling the fabric and you're pulling on it really hard, you're doing it right. You're not supposed to have a lot of overlap. You just pull it the way Kale's pulling on it. If you need to cut a little piece, because it, you don't want to just set your sod on stone. You want to have the fabric. But ideally, the, you want the least amount of overlap. So the way Kale's pulling up on it and getting all the wrinkles that are down on the side of the trench, he's pulling that fabric up. There's fabric there. And this is a really deep trench. They actually had to put fabric down both sides of the trench because we just got so deep on this project, it happens. That is a large French drain system. Man, we're catching a lot of water. We're going to be moving a lot of water. You guys did a great job at taking your time and shaving the bank down on this French drain. I mean, that's not easy to do.
keep in mind if you're going to use this technique the amount of area you're going to need so normally if this wasn't just all built up and the water just ending up flooding the basement out all this water would be standing underneath that cantilevered bay when you're shaving down your French drain trench bank two things one you can't build it over here like you normally would you have to get out here because you're going to taper that bank you need distance to taper this bank the more you shorten up that distance the steeper the bank becomes and now it's difficult to maintain the lawn crew is going to have difficulty if you're the homeowner and you are the lawn crew you're going to have difficulty but this they'll have no problems because the guys they did it right they went ahead and this was banked up already because they built this patio and they built it into the grade so they had to dig out the grade already so that worked out great this was all you know built up nice built off the structure so we were not going to undermine cause any problems to that structure you can see the guys already sodded this but you can see that they cut that sod right there and they just cut this embankment down now the water just does this when it's coming down and the ground's frozen and we all of a sudden have a thaw and the, and the water's just really really coming down the sheet water it's just going to go like this literally and every time it swooshes this way and that way more is going inside the drain it's captured that's key it's captured and the french drain is going to evacuate all that water it's not going to get lost become a problem that's what's been happening here they've had water problems every you know decent rain they're having issues not anymore it won't happen on our watch we caught all the water this whole corner was built up really high that's why that trench and right through here it was really really deep for that reason we had to dig through this grade and the guys tapered this really nice you know when you see what they have behind them all the houses are higher than them but they're way up on a hill themselves so like I always say if you're the guy at the top of the hill you're spending a lot of money in retainment everywhere your driveway your patio this was a good building site you know nice and flat it really goes down to the street over there All right, we got a nice swale through here. Now the water can get out from between the house. Before, this was built up. The water would back feed up along the house, flood the house all the time. They had a lot of water problems. So this was elevated. Also helped keep the water out of there, so it sheds all the water. We got our D-Box. We got our nine by nine outlet basin. There is actually two downspouts with clean outs tied into that one D box and that one nine by nine. Now back here we have all the sheet water coming off the higher ground and we have this really nice swell the guys worked on. Did a beautiful job, very time consuming. Uh, you know, integrating a swell where there's never been a swell, 
you're going to need to put some extra time in on that.